So somebody wrote us an email. At the beginning of overtime, they always say each team is going to possess the ball if, if it's just a field goal, if it's a touchdown, the game's over. Somebody wrote us an email and said, what would happen if the, the team has a 15-minute drive? Kicks the field goal, three seconds, you know, 14.57, and there's no time left on the clock. You've, you've already said a field goal would ensure the other team gets a possession. What would happen? Game over. Period over. You win. You win three to nothing. That would be the uh, really the only case where the other team wouldn't get an opportunity. But you have, you have one 15-minute period um, for overtime in the regular season, and the only way it would extend if, the, if the, there was a foul by the defense on the last play. But if there's a score on the last play, um, there's no extra point, there's no nothing, game is over at that point, and the other team's out of luck. I've yet to see a 15-minute drive. Um, maybe it's happened at No, the point, longest, but, longest uh, drive in NFL history is just a little over 13 minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's... The longest drive I've ever seen recently was that uh, unbelievable college game that they have in Michigan State went down on a nine-minute drive, nine minutes and 30 seconds, and you know to win the Big Ten championship. But if it were to happen, sorry, the other teams have a luck. That's a little bit of a loophole, I guess. I guess so. There we go. Well, there you go. Well, Mike, enjoy Mexico. Thanks for popping on with us. You got it, Mike. Take care. All right.